Isn't it just great? When 40 years of experiments conducted on UK soil in Oxford, partially funded with UK taxpayers' money, ships out to the south of France. Tell that to the Brexiters. You know how much they loved the French. Well, it's true. Jet is shutting down. And IT is, well, in the south of France, going to be the benefactor of 40 years of knowledge. Well, I was reading this article in the BBC. And that's quite a nice article, actually. It says, the UK nuclear fusion site ends... Oh, OK. For experiments uh, after 40 odd years. I suppose that's a bit sad, isn't it? You know, there's, uh, the Oxford site is uh, closing down. Oh, a bit of food jobs lost, I imagine. And supporting uh, infrastructure. Well, I was going through this article, what have you. It goes on about the history of it and what have you. Brilliant. I thought, that's nice, you know. It's quite a nice little article. Explains what nuclear uh, fusion is. It's basically the squashing together of two atoms to produce energy without the carbon, uh, well, emissions and what have you, detriment to the environment or less of. Unlike, obviously, fission, which is what we use currently to produce electricity in the nuclear power stations. No. So, going through the article, yes. Okay, good history, you know, nice little picture of all the scientists. I thought it was great, it's great, yeah, okay. Yeah, the Jet Project team of 1977, Professor Green, fifth right, was the lead engineer at the site. And then I thought myself, oh no, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, okay. I thought myself, I'll, I'll do a little uh, find, you know, control F, and see whether or not they mentioned the word, the B word, Brexit. And no, they did not mention Brexit once in this article of well, that's a bit strange we all know that brexit was going to be uh well the slayer of euro atom or our participation in euro atom and it seems like it is well back in 2018 brexit uncertainty threatens fusion energy research Confusion over UK funding from Europe's nuclear uh, agency is adding uh, to the anxiety of staff and joint European uh, Taurus. Taurus? <laughs> anyway, well, the thing is, you see, we've got this thing called brain drain. That's when brains, they leave your country. Yeah. They say, oh, OK, there's not much of a job here for me anymore. I think I'm going to ship out. It's because, you know, I like prospects. And that's pretty much what's been happening. Well, back in 2018... Um, on the 21st of May, Theresa May, what she was Prime Minister for a short period of time, uh, not quite sure as uh, uh, Liz Truss, I, I know, but she was too busy, wasn't she? Um, but I still think it was probably a... That is a disgrace. Sorry, I couldn't resist. Well, <laughs> so... She did concede and say, we'll, be, you know, we'll pay to be an, a full associate member with Euratom. Okay, things have changed though. We'll get into that in a moment. So keep watching. So come down the bottom here. It says here. Okay, here we are. Oh, here we are. The site is repeatedly highlighted, as in Euratom site in Oxford, as one of the potential casualties of Brexit. Really, with a caveat that its contract should be secure until 2020, at the end of the transition period. And Jet's chief executive Ian Chapman told Nature last year that the, some top-level staff have already found positions elsewhere. And the longer this all drags on, the less attractive jet will uh, seem to research. As yes, they, well, they're buggering off, you see. Yeah. It's not great. Well. Oh, damn me. Now, a few days ago, is, is, like I said um, regarding this article, the UK um, has left, or was leaving Europe. It was basically shutting the site down, jet, the jet site in Oxford. Well, the Prime Minister, back in September, said they, brought, they made a decision to spend 650 million squid on nuclear fusion. Uh, not not as about a year out, no. They have their own. Yeah, because we're special, you see. We're special. We have our own little nuclear uh, fusion. Yeah, it's going to be very tiny as well. Because there's only 650 million quid, and that barely scratches the surface of what's required. Nothing like the one in South France. Oh my giddy aunt. It's huge. We'll get into that in a moment. 
So the Prime Minister's decision to spend 650 million on nuclear fusion is an attempt to make up for the irreparable damage of Brexit. And they admit it. The head of the UK Atomic Energy Authority, the UK AEA, has said. Yeah, so Euratom's fusion work is uh, now focused on ITER, which is the one in, say, France. I-T-E-R. Uh, so it's 17 billion. So 650 million quid and going to do nothing. We haven't even got one. We haven't got... Who owns... This is the question for you. Who owns the research now? I imagine it's Euratom. The UK has pulled out. Oh, I wish uh, Stanley Johnson did. Well, anyway, Euro Atoms fusion work is now focused on IT, uh, a 17 billion mega project to build a reactor in France, the south of France. You know what France is looking for is nuclear power. Yeah, they're everywhere. In fact, where I live here in France, I'm sort of not far from what used to be a source of uranium. No wonder I glow. Well, <laughs> asked if granting 650 million of direct funding instead of rejoining the Euro Atoms fusion program was a case of attempting to uh, make up for irretrievable damage from Brexit, Sir Ian Chapman said, Yes, that's right. Come on! You know, there's 650 million quid. That ain't even gonna scratch the surface, and besides, ain't even gonna turn up. I know full well they're not going to get the next win the next general election. It's going to be somebody else's problem. Maybe it'll be Labour's problem. And what comes up? What's, what's happening this uh, autumn? I tell you what's happening this autumn. The budget. They don't want to spend the money. They don't want to spend the money. They don't want to be a part of a uh, Euro Atom and pay into Euro Atom. They want to IT. Ah! Oh! This is just mind-dumbly stupid. Now, back in, if you look at this uh, here on uh, the Gov site, yeah, I don't know why I'm bothering, but yeah, it's like, you, yeah, the, you know, the government's own website. So the UK left the European Atomic uh, Energy com uh, Community, or Euradom, on the 31st January 2020, yes. But they were an associate member for a while. So the UK has reached an agreement with the EU, uh, Euradom, to participate from the 1st of January 2021 as, a, as associate member. And basically, you know, we're benefit from all that science, you see. Now, two brains are better than one. But when you've got a whole team of brains, it could be better than one little team of brains. This is just mind-numbingly stupid. We are really going to be dragging our heels. Now, they're hoping that by 2040, they're going to have the first lo um, localised uh, fusion reactors. But who owns the science? So the agreement is subject to ratification of the overall deal, blah, 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 blah. Well, no, it's not now. Richie Sunek has said no. Jeremy Hunt, the Chancellor of the Exchequer, said no. He said they come up with this tiny little amount of 650 million quid. That sounds like a lot of money to you and me. But projects like this, which are immensely important, it's like the holy grail of power. Crazy, as in electrical power. But no, 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 no. We aren't going to be a part of it. So, so oh, crikey. So the post Euro um, UK open to collaboration with EU and ITER. This was um, back on the 11th of September, and now they've just said no. UK's nuclear fusion site ends experiments. After and there goes my camera. Let me just turn that on and off again. <laughs> it does that occasionally. I don't know what it is. There you go. No, nope. off and on and off. There we are. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm having a bit of a problem with my USB. Oh, I hope it's not painful. No, it's not. Anyway, <laughs> what do you reckon? Please leave it in the comments down below. Am I being a little bit, uh, how to put it, um, a bit too much skepticism? Pessimist, not pessimistic. Skepticism, yeah, skepticism. I'm a, I'm a, yeah, I'm a bit, bit skeptical. Too much skepticism. I can't even say it now. Blimey, it's all that noise. I've been, I've been at an old motocross today. It's been a bit noisy. Do you think it's because of the budget? Do you think they just want to spend the money, or do you think it's going to know full well that they ain't going to be in power? So what's the point? You tell me. Leave in the comments down below. Anyway, it's time for me to go. But please, 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 boop the old like button because it helps the channel. You know. 
and I need all the help I can get. And we're going live tonight. Here we are at half past eight UK time. So hopefully I get this video on time. <laughs> oh, dead. What's, oh, yeah. Have you also want to support the channel? Uh, we've got uh, Patreon and bias copies and memberships and stuff like that. Yeah. It helps keep the channel going. Oh, is it going to disappear? Oh, dear. Never mind. That's all. Ha, ha, ha.